May peace and blessings be upon you, my friends. Welcome to Storytime with Mr. F. Assalamu alaikum reading buddies. Welcome to Storytime with Mr. F. I'm very happy to be here with you today. First off, we have special salams going out today to Hiba, Bisan, Asiya, and Ibrahim from Cairo, Egypt. And also we have a special salam going out to little Hassan from San Diego, California. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan is here. I'm so happy. Who's happy? Who's fasting? Who's hungry? I know we're kind of tired, exhausted, and hungry because of the fasting. But you know what? It will be all worth it, inshallah, when we go to Jannah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised us that when we go to Jannah, we're going to have all the yummy foods and treats that we love. And also a lot of other stuff that we didn't even know existed. So it will be all worth it, inshallah. So for today's story time, inshallah, we are going to read It's Ramadan, Curious George. I love this book. It's really cute. If you have a copy of it, go grab it so you can read along with me. It's Ramadan, Curious George. Written by Hina Khan and illustrated by Mary O'Keefe Young. A special month. George can't wait for tomorrow when the month of Ramadan will start. It's a special time of year for his friends and George is going to take part. George and Karim are so busy helping to cook and bake sweets with a good little monkey joining in. Soon there is a big pile of treats. Karim is going to try fasting, a day without food or drinks. George is curious. Can Karim do it? He'll need some help, George thinks. Day of fasting. George is asleep in his bed. When Karim's alarm starts to beep, Karim wakes for an early meal, though the sun is still fast asleep. Later, when it's lunchtime, Karim reaches for a piece of bread. Wait, no food until sundown? George keeps him busy instead. What is the sound George is hearing? It's a rumbling from Karim's tummy. George drags him away from the kitchen. Whatever is cooking smells yummy. Waiting for sunset. Everyone gathers together. As the sun begins to set, the minutes stick by slowly. It still isn't dark enough yet. Finally, it's time to break fast. Karim snacks on a sweet date. Then he takes a big gulp of milk as George loads more treats on his plate. I did it, George! Cheers, Karim. George nods. He's glad to be there. The room is filled with happiness and the peaceful sounds of prayer. It's dinner time. Now it is time to eat dinner. The spread on the table looks great. With something special for everyone, this meal was well worth the wait. Look at all the great choices. Kebabs, curry, veggies, and rice. George spots a big pizza and takes a hot cheesy slice. Now that the meal is over, the best treat has been saved for last. Chocolate dipped bananas to celebrate Karim's first fast. Sharing with others. Karim invites George to the mosque. They gather to do a good deed. Together they make food baskets to share with others in need. Wow, look at George join the action. He knows how to lend a hand. And when he spies a shelf full of shoes, George comes up with a plan. No, George, the imam says with a laugh. Those shoes belong to us here. But you gave me a great idea. We'll add a clothes drive next year. Spotting the moon. Ramadan is almost over. The special month will end soon. George and the man search the sky to catch a glimpse of the moon. There it is! George points, he found it! A thin crescent shining bright. Tomorrow is the Eid festival, but the celebration will start tonight. Karim gives George a gift. New clothes for Eid, he says. 
It's a fancy vest for George and for the man, a yellow fez. An Eid celebration. Happy Eid! The holiday's here. The mosque is busy and loud. Everyone is dressed in their finest. What a good looking crowd. George greets Karim with a hug and spends the day with his friend. After hours of feasting and fun, they are sad Eid has to end. But soon it's time to go home. As the moon returns to the skies, George thinks of his first Ramadan and smiles as he closes his eyes. The end. I really hope that inshallah you guys like today's video. I know things are very different this Ramadan because we're not doing things the way that we're used to. We're unable to go to the masjid for tarawih. We can't eat iftar with friends and family. And some of us are not even sure what's going to happen with Eid prayer. But you know what? This is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah next year we will have everything back to normal. And we will have valued our time with friends and family. And we really really valued how it feels to be at the masjid. Inshallah, everything goes okay with everybody and let's all make dua for everyone to be safe and healthy inshallah. If you like today's story time, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Stay healthy, awesome, and with strong iman. I'll see you next time inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Don't forget to subscribe for more stories inshallah. Email me and let me know what your favorite Muslim children's book is. Jazakumullah khairan for stopping by. Assalamu alaikum.